This video is on uh, culling uh, with geometric uh, properties. I start with uh, surface and I have this pattern of hexagons on this uh, face. This is this node, figure on face. And now I have two objects, uh, cube and uh, sphere. And here uh, I have a reference object reference of sphere. It's connected to the face, to the only face of the of sphere. And next object uh, is this to shape. The this to shape uh, uses the shapes of my pattern, this uh, faces, and the target is in this case the face one of the um, sphere. And uh, it is possible to calculate here the distances uh, for each shape and now these values are combined with uh, a threshold method less than uh, with the shapes and I have here a, a threshold and then from here I can calculate uh, a sequence which uh, faces are have a distance less than, than 2 to uh, the sphere and then I combine the result with the shapes of the pattern to in a reduce node and then I get the output and the output we can see. So I change the only parameter which is easy to, is easy changeable. This one uh, threshold 2 and when I now change the threshold we see that the selection becomes larger this way and we can do the same with the box. I have here the box, I have here the reference object of the box. In this case I use the complete uh, box with all faces, the complete um, shape. I have a dist to shape uh, node which calculates the distance from the box to all of the pattern faces and I compare it in a less than uh, node with this value 7 and I also change here the value and I see if the value becomes larger then the selection becomes larger too and now I can use these two results and combine them in a end node. In the end node I make a boolean end of the two uh, sequences and the result uh, I put it into a reduce uh, node where I connect them with the shapes of the pattern at the starting of the, of the video and uh, so I have to make it visible. Here I have the reduce end and now we can test it. So I go to the, the threshold here for the box and I change the value and here the red uh, faces are uh, the result of the end node. Also we see if I make it smaller then the number of uh, end uh, faces is reduced to and so on. And I can do it here. I can go to the sphere selection. And I can make it larger and I get a new intersection area. This way. And so on. So this is the result. So area of the uh, sphere has uh, overcome all the area of the box and here inside we have the end uh, result. So once more here the whole picture uh, for this 
we start with uh, a pattern. We have some control objects, the sphere and the box. We calculate the distance between the pattern uh, faces and the control object. We compare it with a threshold. We give the result to the reduce function to get a subset of the faces and we display the result and we can combine two of these uh, results in a boolean operation, in this case with M, and get here uh, the end result of the two sets.